All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a new upload today, okay? This is gonna be the upload for the SMC that aired on Discovery Channel. And this was an episode that I had so much fun doing. I got a, an opportunity to hook up with my good buddy, Dustin Connell, in Alabama, literally in his backyard, on one of his most famous lakes ever. And I learned a lot, and hopefully you'll learn a lot in this video as well, because we smash up some giant Coosa River bass. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so guys, check this out. And also do me one huge favor, guys, smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and the biggest and most important thing is subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on all your notifications for all the new videos we got coming, and uh, enjoy. Have fun with this one. Old DC shows us a trick or two. All right, dude, I'm excited. I got, I'm got. i bringing braid, okay? Because I know that I might need this to catch spotted bass. I mean, dude, yeah, yeah, where in not... the country do you go spotted bass fishing with sometimes braid on? Yeah, we're not throwing eight pound line. Six no. pound line, we're no. not doing all that. No, Coosa River, dude, this is your playground. The Coosa River, I, I think it's kind of like the Mecca, the king, it's the capital of big spotted bass. And I'm here with the man himself, Mr. Dustin Connell, affectionately known as DC. I'm excited about being able to spend the day with you in the boat, dude. Hey, I'm super excited. You know, uh, I appreciate you giving me a call for this opportunity. You know, right now it's, uh, it's October, it's fall, as you can hear, the wind's blowing, fronts are coming in, leaves are changing, water's cooling. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have a good day. I'm looking forward to it, dude. This right here is gonna be a fun day. Yeah, day. it is. So we're already late. We gotta go out here and catch them. I'm, we're gonna I'm catch late. Some. I'm always a little late. I'm a little late. Yeah, we're gonna catch some on top water. Really? I'm gonna try to put you on a big one on, on the top Big old donk donk? Yeah, a big one. Big one. Big, big giant one. Big Dude, bulldog. I caught, one, I caught one. Let me tell you, the Coosa River, which you know this, the Coosa River spots, they have bigger teeth than normal spots. And they'll cut your hand off, dude. That's yes, why you got to fish that bigger will. bigger line. Yeah, they're mean. I caught one one time. It had seven or eight shaky heads sticking out of the <laughs> line. Like, it had just broken off everybody's junk, dude. Oh okay, that's gosh. that's what today is about. But I do know this. We got to get this thing going that way, yes. my friend. So you get in the truck. Let's, let's go it. get our lean let's on. Go, let's go kid. Lean on. So I'm excited, man. All kidding aside, dude. This is the first time I've ever been right here to this particular lake. But I fished, I fished Jordan before, or Jordan, how they pronounce it. And some of the other, you know, Logan Martin and and, and this whole Coosa chain, there's just so many different places you can fish. But there's biggins in here, dude. Biggins. Biggins. All, all these lakes from the top of the Coosa all the way to the Alabama River are just really, really good. Yeah. You catch big giant ones too. I mean yeah. I've caught six and a half pound spots down here. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh my gosh. Well. That would be That's pretty the darn goal. awesome. That's the goal. Yeah. This is pretty up here, dude. That fog coming up, man. I'm seeing I'm some excited. bait flicking. <laughs> I, I could. You know what I smell? Bass. I smell a butt whooping coming oh, on. Oh, God. I smell here a butt whooping coming on. He already talked to trash. Uh huh. <laughs> That's right. All right. This little deal right here. Guggen Squad, walking bait ought to, ought to be good. Anything white, right? Look at that thing. That ought to work. I think I like it. Let's do it. Oh, you're going to catch some. Poosh! All right, I guess I'm going to reel one in. Okay, let's go. All right, this challenge is um, starting right now. You know, we. I, I, I was contemplating driving up here. I was like, what could the challenge be? You know, like 20 pounds of spot, 20 pounds of large. Oh, you did some crazy, you know? PB spot, I don't know. But I'm just thinking we're gonna just do old school because we like old school. Biggest fish win, my friend. Biggest fish win. Biggest bass win. Yes. Yeah. Large mouth spot. I don't know. Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah. We're gonna have a good yeah. day. And we're gonna fish for hats. And it, and, and hats and a twenty dollar bill and you gotta sign the twenty dollar bill to the winner. Oh, that's, that's, that's well, I really need to get this twenty dollar. Yeah, I've got a bunch of Jacob Wheeler stuff by the way. Just you go do? ahead and ask him. You yes do? I do. I have God. I have I have almost enough Man, for a down payment. I really. I got down payment signatures. I'm looking forward to framing this $20 bill. <laughs> That's all. What? What? What you got going on, dude? I got a little baby boy kicking him off. This is a little bitty guy. Little one? I'm not getting a $20 bill on him. Oh, look how cute, man. He's a cute one. I'll give you a pound on that one. One pound. But you did strike first blood. Look at that. Yeah. He's just a little cute Look, little guy. Look at teeth, dude. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Things will get you. <laughs> Things will get you. Y'all listen. Just dump him back in there. That's the cast. 
There he is. Good? I don't know. Oh, no, not good. bad. Not bad. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna get that. No. He looks like a little largemouth the way he's flopping around. Oh. He oh. He's a little largey. Uh oh. I done hooked up, boy. Uh uh. Got me a little largey up here. Me too. Look at that. We're catching your, your bass now. I know. We're going to redo the open of the show and everything. <laughs> like, hey, guys, we're here. Coosa River. Going after Big giant ones. Big old giant largemouth. That's what we're doing today. Dude, he choked it. Oh, God. Oh, God. what happened? What, what, what are you doing, dude? I'm sorry. I'm in official timeout right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in official timeout right now. I heard it. And every, I mean, oh, I, I'm so sorry. I did not that mean to do that. That's uh, a pretty good one, dude. Yeah. Look at you. I'm so sorry. Come what on. in the Talk world? Talk to me. Talk to me. Come on. Come on. He's tying on something else, and I'm up here trying to get a bite. Oh. oh my gosh. No. Look at that. I'm sorry. I, that don't even get to count. <laughs> that's a, that's about a three. Yeah, that's about a three. That ain't a bad one. A little fatty. Look at that belly on that thing. Uh-huh. Looks like me. Look at the Christmas teeth. Time. Let's see the teeth. No, those teeth are crazy, dude. It does get some teeth. Yeah, those things will get you. You're nice guy, sir. Everybody watching thinks, oh, look, he's just casting over here, catching one, casting over there. No, he's specific. He's telling me, go over there, and then he throws behind me and then whacks one. And then when I unhook your fish, and I'm thinking, like, he's going to let me cast in a second. No, you're at it again. Dude, you're putting the heat on me. I know you're doing this on purpose, dude. I, I, felt, know, I, I felt kind of bad yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. Turns up, hey, throw up there, and then he throws it, like, slightly this way. I'm following you, man. <laughs> I got what you're doing. Oh, oh, what the heck are you, what is going on? I want to catch one. Dude, look at that. That's a nice one. We're getting there. Oh, or you're getting there, I should say. A little chunky boy right there. A little Man. chunky one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, fat boy. That ain't bad. Look at that. I look, that. These spots have that green. They got that brown green to them. More than like, you know, a Beaver Lake spot or a different kind of spot like that. They the camouflage. They, yeah, they're just a, they're just mean. Just mean, dude. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Hi. Uh oh. I'm just telling you. Uh oh. Oh my God. What is that? A stinking catfish. You brought me to the catfish hole. I, I brought him to a good hole. It's a catfish hole. I said, Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm guaranteed if we get bit here. I ain't never been here. I've won so many. Uh, I'm guaranteed. Yeah, and you come up to a day, I'm catfish hole. Loving the new layout. The, the, this skeeter has got so many cool little compartments. But I'll tell you what I'm most excited about. It's got a garbage can, dude. Trash right here. can. Trash can. Right here. You can take it out and everything. Done deal. So that keeps the boat clean. I love that. And then you've got the cooler here, which is pretty big. And that's actually bigger than what my other boat used to have, but I still carry that Ingle 25. I carry that everywhere. It's just, you keep an extra ice, especially this time of the year. You know, in these tournaments, man, you can have a couple extra bags in there that are just for the fish. Keep the extra waters. And that size cooler right there stays perfect right here behind the seat. So the Ingles are the deal. Uh, there's one, there's one, there's a big one. I say big one, might not be. Might not be that big. Oh, he ain't bad. You weren't looking and I threw it there where you've been from. Ah. See, you saw how I did that? It's <laughs> a good little trick. See, what you do when you got a buddy, one of those real good buddies that says, they're right there, and you always watch his bait, and lands just slightly out of the Just a spot. little different. Just a little different. Compensate. It's the tip of the day. Compensate. I ain't gonna lie, Scott, that, that's a good one. That's right, but it ain't gonna do it today. Oh, no, not gonna, not gonna oh. make it today. Oh, not gonna make it today. I'm, I'm fishing you behind the good, king. Though. I'm fishing behind the king, dude. I'm learning. <laughs> I am learning. I am learning. Pretty good. There you go. Oh, that's a pretty good one, dude. We'll give you another. Oh, how fat, dude. That thing. Look, it's, it's got like a two a and a half pound body. Little foosball. I know. Two and a half pound body. Three pound belly. 
the sun's starting to get down a little farther. There's new shade showing up That's on right. places that hadn't been there. That's right. I think I think we're gonna have some opportunities. Well, I'm, I'm saying we go hit some new shade because I need a new crisp twenty dollar bill. <laughs> new crispy one. I do need a crispy, new crispy one, my friend, and a crispy hat. <laughs> Gosh, what is, I just heard a slap. Is that uh -uh. a biggin? You done got a biggin. Oh my gosh. That's good, I just wanna see a big old jump. I wanna, I wanna see one with a little dog chain around his neck. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, he ain't got a dog chain. Oh, dude, look at that, no, that's a nice one, dude. That's over three. I think you just moved up in the world. I may have moved on up. I think I'm gonna give you three and a quarter on that one, dude. I'll take you. I will take you. We're gonna go catch big here in a minute. See, I, I love, I love your confidence. How, like, I think that's a pretty big spot right there. I mean, spotted bass in general, you know, most places in the country. Guys, check this out. So, for all y'all that don't know what a spotted bass is, it's a different species from a largemouth, obviously, different species in a smallmouth. But I think they're more related, closely related to a smallmouth. Don't want to touch that me. tongue one time. I know they got the little patch right there. They got a little rough patch on the tongue. And they are just mean. They're mean. They love current, as you will see. And they're just mean. World record on a spot is what? 11, 12 pounds? 10 pounds. He come out of California. Yeah. So world record is a 10 pounder. And this is the three something. So pretty pretty good, pretty good sized fish right there. Pretty good. There's one. There we go. There we go. Look at that shaddy spit up. Mm -hmm. Come here, dude. That's cool, man. That is cool. Oh my gosh, he's spit Look up at that shed, shed everywhere. He just spit up right wow. there. That's what. That is a big one. Mm. Eat it, dude. Boom. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. All right, dude. See you, man. Uh-oh, he done hooked up again. DC train is rolling. Little guy. Look at him, I love, I love bass fishing. That's <laughs> I so love, fun. I love, I do. I love bass fishing because you know why? A, because there's so many different types of bass, right? Spots, large mouth, small mouth, shoal bass. They smell so good. You smell them, don't they, you? I, I, I like smelling them. You knew I smell them. You're a secret sniffer, aren't you? They smell good. I know. That's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you guys what we're fishing with here real quick. Couple, couple of things, obviously. Uh, one, and we're both throwing it, is just a standard little soft jerk bait. This little fluke, shad colored, nothing crazy. Got it rigged up on a little offset hook. 15 pound P-line fluorocarbon is what I've got rigged up here on mine. And uh, the reason you need 15 versus say 10 or 12 is you need that extra strength there and, and when you set the hook on them. I mean, you can't, with all this current, you can't have light line. You just don't get a good hook driven in them. This is a favorite series, Pro Series, that we designed. Matter of fact, uh, Dustin and I worked on this rod right here, this 7.3 Heavy. It's a very, very popular rod in our lineup. It's made by favorite, and uh, it's one of our, one of our rods, dude. Yeah, it's super yeah, it's, legit. It's really so, good. Got that one. That's number number one thing we've been fishing with so far. And uh, caught a couple small ones on this, but nothing big yet. This is the Guggen Squad top water little walking bait right here. And uh, got it rigged up on straight braid, pretty simple. 40 pound P-Line X braid and a little six stick rod, cast good. You really need to have baits that cast far and accurate on this kind of stuff. And these two setups right here are definitely the way to go. So, so far that's what we're fishing with. There he is, that's a big one. That's a big giant one. Oh, that's a big one. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> he feels a lot better than what I've been catching, that's for sure. Oh no, I may have just gave 20 bucks away, y'all. I just gave 20 bucks away. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spot. Dude. Look at that guy right there. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think. Scott got him one, baby. I think you're safe, my friend. I think you're safe. Dude, how about that, man? Was that, <laughs> redemption. Boom. I like it. I'm coming for you, dude. 
this, let's talk about this for a second. So spotted bass, typically, you know, a two pounder is a good fish, three pounders are good ones, four pounders are giants. And we've caught a good many, or he has, this size right here, plus another big giant one. So this Coosa River chain, this whole system, dude, full of them, is where you want to be. He came up there and got you. Oh, I don't even know if he's hooked yet. Oh my God, look at that spot, dude. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, stay hooked up. We finally that connected is a big one. That is a donk right there, dude. Don't you do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't Oh my goodness. Oh, did you hear that? She cut out. Don't, don't, oh, don't. Oh, oh, oh careful, my dude, gosh. careful. Just lift him in the boat, dude. Come here. <laughs> oh, look at that. That right there is a Coosa River spot. That's a good one, buddy. That's one of them. Four pounder. Yeah, we just good had a bite dude. just like that. Yeah. Well, we switched it up. You know, we were up on the dam catching fish, but just the, that's what we came for right there, and you did it. Now I want to catch one, dude. You got, Mama I gotta, said. I got to put you Mama on Mama said. I feel bad. I wanted, You need to feel bad. I, I, I wanted to put him on yeah. one like that. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Look how good pretty they are. Good job. Oh, what you got? Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. You done hooked up again, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dude. Slow down, bro. Another one. Good. That's a good one, dude. I mean, these are all chunks. Oh, <laughs> hey. my goodness, dude. Look at that one. Boom! Dude, how you keep catching these big ones, man? <laughs> so Mama I'm said, sorry. I'm just saying Mama said. I'm sorry. That's gonna be the title of this episode is Mama said to let your guests go first. But no, he didn't he didn't get that. I feel so bad. You do you should feel bad. I feel him. You just, that's a good that's one. That's a big old fat one right that there, is dude. Big. Dude, I'm not even done. <laughs> I'm not even done wiping my hands off, bro. And and you and you've done uh, <laughs> ma Mama Mama said Mama said don't hang out with people like this. Oh well, fatty. Hey, at least you let me hold him. Look how pretty. He's beautiful. There he is. Got one. I done got one. See, you got off this trolling motor. We're about to get you a drink. Biggin? Yeah, it's a biggin. He ain't coming up, so I think he's big. Oh yeah, he's big. He's a good one. But I gotta hold the boat right here. Is what I have to do. Let me go ahead and reel this guy. What? Let me just go ahead and reel this one in. Let me reel this one in. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs>